And I've heard someone say, you know, it was something about the scale of large artwork matching the spirit that created it. And I kind of connected with that, that like, it's like even even when I see a wall, I'll imagine the character bigger than the wall. Hi guys, my name is Casey Kawaguchi. I am originally from Utah. I'm half Japanese visual artist. We're here in my studio, Allegory Studios in Denver, Colorado. I've been drawing my entire life, like pretty much as long as I can remember. My older brother was a really good artist. When I was a kid, he's a, he's a lawyer now and doesn't draw at all, but that was like, I credit him with my believing I could be that good at a young age or like that anybody could draw like that and to see an example of it when I was really young I think was like pivotal to me thinking I could do that so I was like really young trying to outdo him I was like trying to be as good as my brother and he was like really encouraging and always told me I would be better than he was I, I always kind of had the the mentality because it was such a personal thing that I didn't want to have money become a part of it but then I hit a certain point in my life where just the realities of providing for yourself and taking care of yourself, like I almost tried to, you know, like just keep it my own practice and like work a day job and, but eventually realizing like that it was almost like the responsibility in my life, you know, to become what I feel like I am, you know. I was a delivery driver. I drove like auto parts, engines and stuff like that. That was like one of the last jobs I had. The last one was working for a metal supplier, like sheet metal supplier. So I drove big like machines and stuff and pulled like sometimes one inch sheets of steel, like sheet metal. And I had an injury on my spray finger one day where it over hyperextended my finger. And it was like the scariest thing ever. The thought that I wouldn't be able to spray paint ever again or draw like the same. And so I quit like shortly after that. As, as I go further in this like artistic path and specifically murals and that there's like just these unique opportunities that you're never gonna, I think, have otherwise. To be able to make a living doing artwork and what you love first off, but then to be able to do it in these, like as a muralist or your, your studio is wherever the job is, you know, wherever the wall is. Art in the first place, that's totally the the draw to doing art is it's like a meditation. It's like where you can be in your own world in a way like, and I think, you know, spray painting and um, painting murals and stuff, I think uh, like as I, it's almost a challenge to try to work with, to work closer with people on bigger projects that require multiple people or something like that. Like that, that's part of the personal satisfaction that I get from doing what I do is like, that it's all you. It was something about the scale of large artwork matching the spirit that created it. And I kind of connected with that, that like, it's like even, even when I see a wall, I'll imagine the character bigger than the wall. I guess there's a few things that led to like the large scale of my attraction to that. Cause in my process also, the implement, implementation of spray paint into my process, which at the time was just like working larger and larger with acrylic brush paint and um, so I was using like a roller, like watered down a lot and stuff and just kind of attracted to the chaos and mess of the randomness of just the, the medium. It was already sort of leaning towards like, I don't know how to explain it best, but like the control that you have over creating something and over your idea and especially just drawing, there's nothing more, no more focused intention than a line, you know, than just a fixed fine line. 
And I think that's a thing like, let's say if kids go from like drawing with a crayon to like a pencil and it, it's almost like the hardest thing, you know, to create with because you don't allow yourself. It's so unforgiving, you know? And so you judge yourself on that. But then you bring in something like watered down brush paint on, in a roller or um, spray paint that there's just built into it a certain scale to if you want any sort of like being able to control it. But then even within that, like a, a fine line, you don't get that. There's all of the speckles and the little things that you can't control. And so there's just this like built in for me, forgiving myself for the control that I want over it. And then it's like a like a balance between those two things that allows you to just like go all in on it and not be like hesitant that you're, you know, not doing this or that right or didn't come out right. And then beyond that, being able to just play with the chaos that's built into the medium. I love that there's such a, like, there's so many passionate people here, here in Denver that are like really dedicated to their craft and that have been, you know, painting twice as long as I have been painting. And, you know, the amount of dedication also that that shows. All of that, I'm, I'm, I'm probably most deeply inspired by as like people that I'm around. I think over the whole journey so far, some of the biggest things, like actually, like the everyday things of building a career where there's no, like I don't really have like mentors or, you know, like I, I guess there's people I could consider in that, in that role at different stages of my, of my path and stuff. I think the, some of the biggest ones is trying to have to figure out how to work in ways that my brain doesn't work ways that I don't easily function that are required to getting to the next step and the next step, you know? Uh, that's like where I am now, where I'm like, you know, having to adjust to things that are not really specifically art related in order to get to that place of doing more art. Like I'm just starting to kind of work with people to help me with those things and like, you know, ask for help and, so little lessons like that, that are really bigger, challenging things. I almost think also the... Hi. <laughs> this is the other artist, Aaron, that has the end space he must have just got here. Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Thanks, dude.